think mastermind presence vector calculus gauss divergence theorem after watching this video please subscribe like and share gauss divergence theorem in vector calculus is very important topic for first year engineering students see the statement of gauss divergence theorem that is double integral over s f dot ds is equal to triple integral over del dot vector f dv where s is the closed surface with volume v and vector f is a vector point function with continuous first order derivatives just we will see the gauss divergence theorem by using the problem verify gauss divergence theorem for vector f x square i vector plus y square j vector plus z square k vector where s is the surface of the cuboid formed by the planes x is equal to 0 x is equal to a y is equal to 0 y is equal to b z is equal to 0 and z is equal to c now consider the right hand side of the gauss divergence theorem that is triple integral over v del dot f vector dv the f vector is given x square i vector plus y square j vector plus z square k vector so we know that del operator is equal to do by do x of i vector plus do by do y of j vector plus do by do z of k vector so now we are going to find del dot f vector we know that i dot i vector is equal to 1 j vector dot j vector is equal to 1 k vector dot k vector is equal to 1 the different dot product of vector is equal to 0 that is similarly vector i dot k vector is equal to 0 using that del dot f vector is equal to do by do x of x square plus do by do y of y square plus do by do z of z square differentiating that you getting 2x plus 2y plus 2z dv is dx dy dz using these result in the right hand side of the gauss divergence theorem you can write triple integral over 2x plus 2y plus 2z dv that is using the range of x y z i have to write the limit of the triple integral 0 to a 0 to b 0 to c 2x plus 2y plus 2z dx dy dz that is equal to integrating with respect to x the corresponding x limit is 0 to a so integrating you can find the result 2 times of x squared by 2 the integration of x with respect to x is x squared by 2 the integration of 2y with respect to x is 2yx integration of 2z with respect to x is 2zx and substituting the limit 0 to a for the variable x you get you can identify the result a square plus 2ay plus 2a is it into dy d is it similarly we are doing with respect to y a square y plus 2ay square by 2 plus 2a is it y the limit is 0 to b d is it substituting the upper limit for the variable y you can obtain the result like this again similarly doing with respect to z we can obtain the result a square b z plus a b square z plus 2 times of a b z squared by 2 2 2 cancelled the result we can obtain using the upper limit a square b c plus a b square c plus a b c square taking the common variable a b c outside we can obtain the result abc into a plus b plus c which is the right hand side of the gauss divergence theorem now we are going to see the left hand side double integral over s f vector dot ds vector where f vector is given x square i vector plus y square j vector plus z square k vector and you are considering the surface of the cuboid as six surface that is s1 s2 s3 s4 s5 s6 here s4 outward unit normal vector is j along y is equal to b similarly y is equal to 0 n unit vector is minus j so using this concept i can write s1 unit normal vector is minus i 
and x is equal to 0. Similarly, S2, n unit vector is i vector along x is equal to a. S3, y is equal to 0 minus j vector where y value is 0. S4, y is equal to b, n unit vector is j vector. In S5, z is equal to 0, n unit vector is minus k vector. In S6, z is equal to c, n unit vector is equal to k vector. Using the result in vector f dot n unit vector d is the first one 0 along s2 a square along s3 0 along s4 b square along s5 0 and s6 c square. So using this result the s1 value is 0, s3 is 0, s5 is 0. Remaining you having the surface s2 is a square dy dz, b square dx dz and s6 c square dx dy. Using left hand side of Gauss divergence theorem sum of surface s1 plus s2 plus s3 plus s4 plus sy plus s6 here s1 is 0, s3 is 0, s5 is 0. So remaining surface integral are s2, s4, s6. So from the above the table you can write S2 is double integral over a square dy dz with range of y is 0 to b, z is 0 to c. Similarly, you can write S4 and Sc along with the range of x and z and x and y. Next, the integrating with respect to corresponding variable, you can obtain the result 0 to c a square y 0 to b dz 0 to c b square x. 0 to a dz plus integral over 0 to b c square x 0 to a dy. After substituting the upper limit minus lower limit, we can obtain the result is this. Again doing with respect to corresponding variable integration, we can obtain the result a square b c plus b square a c plus c square a b that is a b c into a plus b plus c which is left hand side of the Gauss divergence theorem. Already we found the same result in right hand side of the Gauss divergence theorem. Therefore, left hand side is equal to right hand side. Gauss divergence theorem is verified. Hope this video is useful for you. Please subscribe, like and share.